In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click the first step or the process come, you can add the title along with the icon and the detailed text. I have added some shadow effect. When I click it with the help of arrow, it will show you the second step. Then comes the third step and the fourth step. Likewise, I have created a few more slides with some different uh, color combination. So you can see here if you want, you can make something like this more colorful or you can make it more light depending on your requirement. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangles. Just draw the rectangle, any size. Then you can go to the shape format and you can just keep the size which is 2.4 the height and 2.4 the width so i'm going to make it a perfect square shape then i'm going to rotate it now if you want to rotate it you have got different option you can see this arrow you can just rotate it or you can just hold the alt and the right arrow key and press three times okay and then make it align center align middle shape outline if you want you can give any uh, color and later on we can change it and shape fill i'm going to give some light color to it okay some light color all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this one here all right and then i'm just going to add one more by pressing by holding the control shift key so this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one all right and make sure that equal spacing is there so select all the objects align distribute horizontally and move it here within this one all right so now this is done now i'm going to connect this with the help of an arrow so for that i'm just going to select and duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate move it at the top press ctrl d one more time give some different color and hold the control shift key and reduce the size a little bit you can see here and put it here exactly in the center and you can see this small orange point just drag it outside all right so you end up getting a shape something like this so now i'm going to cut this one select this uh, the sh uh, this uh, square shape the light gray and then hold the shift key select the dark gray merge shape and subtract it all right now I'm just going to bring this here. Okay, you can see here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut all this area which is covering this one. So go to insert shapes, select one rectangle or I can simply instead of doing that one, I can simply select this one, press control D and exactly I'll put it here at the top and I can increase the size like this. You can see here and press control D to duplicate rotate it and then i'm just going to put it here exactly on top of this okay you can just align it a little bit so now i'm going to select this one okay first of all select this shape first hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract again select this one merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this can you see here so shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice i'm just going to give like this and then i'm just going to connect this one with the help of an arrow so go to insert shapes and i'm going to block arrows and i'm going to select this arrow chevron draw this one rotate it and put it here now depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size okay maybe you can just decrease a little bit little bit more uh, wider and select this one shape outline make it no outline shape fill give the same color so it looks like this now select both these shapes merge shape and union now press ctrl d 
and put it one here again press ctrl d move it up rotate you can see here i can make it flip vertical and put this here now you can just change any color of your choice you can see here any color of your choice you can change it so once this is done you can do the add the fonts go to insert icons sorry you can instead of fonts um, i mean icons so select any four different icons of your choice depending on the requirement and move it here 0.5 i'm going to make it and any color you can choose it so i'm just going to put it here one this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth all right and then you can add some detailed text go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one so i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete this part center align reduce the font size and any font of your choice you can just put it here hold the control shift key and just move it here all right so you can see here uh, we have completed this design and if you want you can give some different color combination to it